Layers of the Earth Earth is made up of four main layers. We live on the solid outer layer called the crust. It is made up of pieces or plates that overlap each other. Scientists have only drilled a little over a mile into the Earth crust. Someday they hope to drill deeper. Below the crust, the crust are the mantle, outer core, and the inner core. These layers are much thicker than the crust. The mantle is a soft solid. Because the mantle is so hot, the rock is actually soft like play doh. Even hotter than the mantle is the outer core. Scientists know it is made up of hot liquid metals, iron and nickel. The inner core of the earth is not looking like the outer core. It is hard and solid because it is under a lot of pressure. It is very hot, over 9000 degrees, that is almost as hot as the surface of the sun. What does the diagram show? Option A. The solidness of the mantle compared to the outer's outer core. The thickness of the crust compared to the outer layers. The size of the mountains compared to the oceans. The temperature of the core compared to other layers. What is the correct answer for this choice? This is what are we trying to understand through illustration. Our lesson today is about how illustration help us to understand the text. Illustration are pictures, are images that the reader can look at in order to find answer to a question. This lesson or this passage is talking about the layers of the earth and the question says and the question says what does the diagram shows in the diagram or the illustration we have the earth divided and also showing the inner part of the earth the center of the earth is called inner core and the one right after is the outer core and then is followed by the mantle and the cross. The cross is basically where we live. What does the diagram show? The solidness of the mantle. If you see the mantle is the layer right after the inner crust. I mean after the crust. Uh, the thickness of the cross compared to the, to the other layer. The cross is not that thick. No, it is thick because it also includes the, the mantle. The size of the mountains compared to the oceans, there's not any mountain here. The temperature of the core compared to the other layers, that is our correct answer. So we are going to circle there. We are still learning about illustrations. Illustrations are images, are pictures a reader can look at when reading a story or a passage. Depending on the grade, grade level, the students can have more illustrations in the lower grades and less illustration as the grades progress. We have the map of Europe and the compass. These are the countries that, made, that Europe is made up of. And on this side we have the compass. The compass teaches us where are we located or shows the location. Question. According to the map, which country is furthest from Portugal? Portugal is right here. Portugal can be on the southwest according to the compass. And we have to identify which of these four options or countries. Portugal is very far because the word furthest means far away. Let's look out for Belgium. Belgium is right here, it is in green and we have germany so i'm gonna cross it out because mm, it might be a better choice germany is up here i wanna keep it in blank just in case that's the correct answer and hungary i don't know if i pronounced that right hungary is somehow it's not even here i don't say it so we cross it out oh i'm sorry And Italy. Italy is right here. Oh, I found out 
bong or where it is it's right here and we found Italy and Germany is the country which is furthest from Portugal that is our correct answer hello this time we are still working on math and we are trying to get information through if you will be asking yourself what does math have to do with illustration so if you see this, this bar graph here those are illustrations and from bar graph we can collect data and the bar graph basically can give us information that we are trying to find let's read the problem then the questions and let's find out what information what data can we collect through these illustrations coach jones has very large gym classes all of his classes have more girls than boys he decided to make a chart to show how many girls and boys he has in each class which of these charts shows his classes chart w you will see the first second third and fourth grade here is the key for this bar graph in this key green represent the girls and red or i don't know what color is that represent the boys in the first grade there are more girls than boys second the same third and fourth same there are more girls in this let's go back to our question which of these charts shows his classes and also let's go back to the instruction he decided to make a chart to show how many girls and boys he has in each class it says all of his classes have more girls than boys we have to identify which of these charts represents more girls on chart w there are more girls than boys chart x first there are more boys than girls second more girls than boys third more girls than boys fourth more boys than girls so there's no consistency here um, based on girls or so who has more girls who has more boys in some classes there are more boys and in some they are less and so on so this cannot be the one that we are trying to find or we are not looking for let's go to chart y class first class more boys than girls second class there are more girls than boys third class boys and girls are in the same fourth class they are more boys so here there's no consistency only two times boys are more than girls and girls are more than boys maybe in one occasion and in the other one they are tied this might not be the one we are trying to get our answer from chart z first class boys and girls pretty much the same second more boys less girls third more girls less boys fourth more boys less girls so there's no consistency on which has more so our response correct or our correct answer is on chart w so w is d so here is the correct answer illustrations can help us to identify answer illustration can help us to get information based on the question we have been asked but in order to get that information correct or answer correct we have to read the problem or the instruction as many times as possible until we fully understand what we have been asked or what we have to be doing we are working on, on illustrations to find answers to questions illustration help us to find answers illustration give us ideas give us clues what to answer based on any question how many green marble does Sarah have we have to check on the chart or the bar graph in order to get the answer we are looking for numbers of marbles we have 0 10 20 30 40 50 marbles and yes we are comparing yes marbles with Sarah yes he has 25 
red marbles. They got 30 blue marbles and 30 green marbles. Sarah has 30 green marbles as Jesse. Sarah has more blue marble than Jesse, which is 35. I'm gonna write it down here, 35. And green marbles, she, uh, Sarah had green marbles. Sarah is low in green marbles compared to Jesse because Sarah has, I see here, she got 15 green marbles. And Jesse has third green marbles which is the double now let's go back to the question what is the question telling us to do how many green marbles does Sarah have again how many green marbles does Sarah have Sarah has 15 green marbles so to answer this question we don't need yes it's information in order to respond to this question because it's talking about Saddam but in somehow information about Yesi is helping us to compare who has more and who has less in order to get to the question we are looking for or in order to get to the answer we are trying to find this is our last activity this is an independent activity which means the student is going to be able to read the text ob observe the illustration read the question and answer the question based on evidence he found on the text itself or on the illustration